has been telling us about. Well, it's a bold new experiment in art, and it starts with a human's vision, but then hands the idea over to artificial intelligence. See what happens from this mix of mind and machine. This morning, Gary's on the go at the new Crocker Museum exhibit, AIMI. Gary, where are you there? Yes, and Siri, this is so cool. You need to come down here and check this out, and everybody watching as well, too. Very, very wild. I've been here not all morning long, but I've been here about, a, I don't know, 45 minutes or so just checking things out. So neat, and it is all about artificial intelligence. All right, here we go. Scott Shields is here. Good to see you again, sir. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. So this is a new exhibit you had. When did this start? This just started last weekend, okay. um, so you are among the first people to see it, and it's a show about artificial intelligence as generated by an artist named Alexander. Rebin. Interesting. And Alexander is a MIT trained roboticist um, and artist and he mixes those two things together. So the show really shows him working with AI for the past five years, which doesn't sound like that long, but yeah. in this world it's a very long time. Yeah. Um, and it really begins with some of his early early works and then it starts to integrate AI into it. I love like, it. And then over here, this is kind of like showing, teaching AI what like a shoe is. So this is one of the ways that AI was taught. Uh, it's almost like teaching a baby and okay. they're showing AI what a shoe is. And Alex has taken all these clips of people showing shoes to AI and put them into this video. Amazing. Yeah. Kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> kind of neat, though, but kind of so scary. Little, yeah. All right, so we walk in, there's just so much to look at. I mean, you know, your eyes just explode. There's so many, of course, colors and different things, but they all have different meanings. Um, you know, maybe we could talk about a couple of them that are in here. Yeah, so, like, th these are the gummy bears, and mm -hmm. and the, the show really shows Alex, like, taking AI's ideas and turning them into art, and then sometimes he makes the art, and then AI talks about the art that he creates, um, and sometimes he works with other fabricators in other countries and other parts of the world to make what AI is coming up with. So the Gummy Bears was an AI-conceived artwork. Yeah. Um, the Plungers over here, also AI-conceived artwork. Yeah. Um, and AI wrote, this was before AI could do images, but it could write. And so it wrote about this piece, and then Alex brought it to life. Amazing. And it decided that there was, should be this new art movement called plungerism. Plungerism. <laughs> and so this is a piece called A Short History of Plungers and Other Things That Go Plunge in the Night. Wow. It's all kind of created by artificial intelligence. Yes. yes. That's unbelievable. Okay. Yes. Let's move down here because there's a few other things I want to get to. I know we don't have, we don't have time to see everything. Oh, Dinty Moore. I actually liked that back in the day. Like you got a door just kind of coming, you know, coming out of nowhere. Um, I love the artwork with all of these stoppers on the back of it. So that's an, that's an AI generated idea that Alex then brought into, brought into life. Um, um, and that's part of the idea of the show is that sometimes it's AI responding to him and he's responding to AI. But really he wants to show how AI can be used by artists because I think there's a lot of fear about what it will do. Yeah, and, and fear it's going to take over or right, something, exactly. right? Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And his point is that you know photography got the same criticism 150 years ago okay. when it was going to take over the art world, and it, and it did not. Um, so he really wants to show people how, how you can work with AI. Oh, that works. Okay. Let, let's go back over here. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, let's show this real fast. Yeah. There's something else I wanted to show, but this is the number one thing. So th this is neat. Tell us so about this. So this is an AI robot, okay. and it, he gives it a, a prompt, and then it makes artwork. And it, what it, it will take a couple of days to make this artwork. Right now it's working with blue, and you can see one yeah. that's finished right and there. And there it is, and that's finished. So this will do this and take care of that. Well, you know what, Scott? We're, we're running out of time, and there's okay. just so much to see. Um, we're going to have you peek at this one last thing over here as we send it back to you, Sinceri. You could come in here. Scott's going to hit a button here. What you do is you pretty much just tell it what you want, and then it will come. It says, hold the button. You pick a, a topic, like trees, and then you're good to go. And then a little printout will come out of this, and then you get a chance to take that home and show a QR code and look at it at home. It's just amazing, you know, artificial intelligence. Hopefully it doesn't take over everything. So right? maybe reporter so in that. the gallery at the All right, I got to send it back, but he's, uh, he's doing his thing. Back to you guys for now. All righty, Gary. Neat. Yeah, it is very neat. Thank you so much. Pretty cool there. Just brand new exhibit one week in at the Crocker. Well, driverless taxis.